President Biden stated that the 10-hour hostage standoff in a Texas synagogue, which ended with an FBI SWAT team rushing into the building and the captor's death, was an act of terror. Authorities identified the hostage taker as a 44-year-old British national, Malik Faisal Akram, who was killed Saturday night after the last hostages ran out of Congregation Beth Israel at around 9 p.m. This was an act of terror. This was an act of terror, and it not only was uh, related to someone who had been arrested, I might add, 15 years ago and been in jail for 10 years. The idea is it was something new, uh, and uh, they did just a great job. I also told him that I wanted to make sure we got the word out to synagogues and, and places of worship that we're not going to tolerate this, that we have this capacity to deal with the assault on particularly the anti-Semitism that has grown up. And so, uh, and I'll be talking with, uh, I put a call into the rabbi, we miss one another on the way up here. And, uh, but they should rest assured that we are focused. We are focused, the attorney general is focused on making sure that we deal with these kinds of acts. The FBI stated there was no early indication that anyone else was involved, but it had not provided a possible motive. Biden said Akram allegedly purchased a weapon on the streets. He said he was reluctant to go into details because neither he nor Attorney General Merrick Garland has all the facts about the case. The investigation stretched to England, where on late Sunday, police in Manchester announced that two teenagers were in custody in connection with the standoff.